guys welcome back to Shauna training now for this week's episode I'm gonna kind of like give you guys a little bit of an inside perspective of how the training is going the things that we're learning and uh, pretty much all the things that a fitness instructor on board the cruise ship has to do that regular trainers on land don't have to do it's kind of a fine line because I can only tell you guys so much because you're not allowed to share everything so I'll give you some things but there'll be some empty spots but I'll do the best that I can so enjoy all of the training Hi right, guys, so one of the things that I told you that I would do is tell you guys a little bit about what separates personal trainers from land to the personal trainers on board the cruise ship. Now one of the biggest differences that I've realized is that the personal trainers on board the cruise ship are not going to be people that you can come back to for advice. You don't give out your email, you don't give out your social media, so there's no way for anyone to check in with you. So you have to be good enough in your consultations to give them the equipment, the tools, the knowledge, and the power to implement those into three, six, or nine months plans. Much different than being a personal trainer on land where you're consistently seeing the people each week, bi-weekly, maybe three times a week. So you really have to think forward when coming to join Steiner as a personal trainer to how much preparation you're really going to have to put into your consultations, into your initial greetings with clients, and into just the care and the upkeep that you have to keep yourself on your toes. Because the more you practice, the better you'll be. So it's really about hard grinding. So one other thing that I've realized is you're not allowed to have a fridge or a kettle or any appliances. So like the only things that you can keep are things that can be kept cold next to the window. So I have my mustard, my mayonnaise, a little tub of Greek yogurt, some butter, orange juice, and then I have all my bread and all my other snacks right over there on my shelf. So. When you are coming to Steiner, to the YMCA Charter House, do not think that you're gonna get a kettle. Do not think that you're gonna have a microwave. Do not think any of the above appliances. The only time you can use the microwave is in the morning for breakfast and in the afternoon, evening from 3 p.m. forward. So pack lightly because you are not going to be given the same opportunities of a kitchen that you do at home. <laughs> Hi right, guys, so welcome to the YMCA gym. Basically, this is a gym in the charter house that I get to stay at. Um, it's a pretty decent gym. They got dumbbells, they got barbells, they got one, two, three different cable machines. Everything is pre-core, which I'm more than okay with. Everything's in pounds and kilograms, and everything's labeled really well as pretty much everything. So uh, yeah, the one thing that I did notice is that every time that I work out, I always forget my MyZone belt, so uh, no my zone points today either. 